COVID-19 Infection Prevention and Control Part 1 Introduction to Infection Control Healthcare personnel are on the front lines for caring patients with confirmed or possible infection with COVID-19 and therefore have an increased risk of exposure to this virus. Healthcare personnel can minimize their risk of exposure when caring confirmed or possible COVID-19 patients by following proper infection prevention and control guidelines. Definition COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. The disease was first identified in December 2019 in Wuhan, the capital of China's Hubei province, as an outbreak of pneumonia of unknown cause. The outbreak was declared public health emergency of international concern on January 30, 2020. It spread globally, involving many countries resulted in the ongoing 2019-20 coronavirus pandemic. The risk factors are Travel And viral exposure Mode of transmission Person-to-person -person spread Person-to-person -person transmission of COVID-19 virus occurs via droplet and contact transmissions. Droplet transmission The transmission of COVID-19 is thought to occur mainly through respiratory droplets. These droplets, produced when the infected person coughs or sneezes, can infect the persons who are within 1 meter distance. Contact transmission Respiratory droplets settle down on floor and surfaces, inanimate objects. Virus can easily spread through contact with contaminated surfaces. Airborne transmission Airborne transmission occurs when performing aerosol-generating procedures such as tracheal intubation, open suctioning, tracheostomy, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, manual ventilation before intubation, bronchoscopy, airway suction, chest physiotherapy, nebulization, sputum induction and collection of specimens for investigations. Some recent studies have suggested that COVID-19 may be spread by asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic people. Incubation period of COVID-19 Typically 5 to 6 days. Sometimes it may range between 2 to 14 days. Clinical manifestations Common symptoms include Fever fatigability and dry cough. Other symptoms include shortness of breath, myalgia, sore throat, diarrhea, nausea, runny nose, and anosmia or hyposmia or dysgeusia. Real-time PCR or RT-PCR testing with nasopharyngeal swab in case of upper respiratory tract infection. In case of lower respiratory tract infection sputum sample and for patients on ventilator, endotracheal aspirate must be collected for testing. And CT scan. Complications are Pneumonia Viral sepsis Acute respiratory distress syndrome Acute kidney injury and Disseminated intravascular coagulation Control measures Early recognition or reporting of cases. Early assessment or triaging of cases. Follow standard precautions. Transmission-based precautions. Educating staff, patients and visitors. Administrative controls. And environmental and engineering controls. Case definitions. WHO periodically updates the Global Surveillance for Human Infection with Coronavirus Disease document which includes case definitions. For easy reference, case definitions are included as following. Suspected case. A patient with acute respiratory illness, fever, and at least one sign slash symptom of respiratory disease, for example, cough, shortness of breath diarrhea and a history of travel to or residence in a location reporting community transmission of COVID-19 disease during the 14 days prior to symptom onset. A patient with severe acute respiratory illness, fever and at least one sign or symptom of respiratory disease, for example, cough, shortness of breath, and requiring hospitalization, and in the absence of an alternative diagnosis that fully explains clinical presentation. or. A patient with any acute respiratory illness and having been in contact with a confirmed or probable COVID-19 case in the last 14 days prior to symptom onset. 
probable case. Suspect case for whom testing for the COVID-19 virus is inconclusive. Inconclusive being the result of the test reported by the laboratory. Or a suspect case for whom testing could not be performed for any reason. Confirmed case. A person with laboratory confirmation of COVID-19 infection, irrespective of clinical signs and symptoms. Technical guidance for laboratory testing can be found here. Definition of contact. A contact is a person who experienced any one of the following exposures, during the two days before and the 14 days after the onset of symptoms of a probable or confirmed case. Face-to-face -face contact with a probable or confirmed case within 1 meter and for more than 15 minutes. Direct physical contact with a probable or confirmed case. Direct care for a patient with probable or confirmed COVID-19 disease without using proper personal protective equipment, or other situations as indicated by local risk assessments. For confirmed asymptomatic cases, the period of contact is measured as the two days before through the 14 days after the date on which the sample was taken which led to confirmation. Thank you. A presentation from Government of Kerala. Department of Health and Family Welfare.